All right, Sam, you ready to put these suckers in? Man, I'll tell you what, it's going to make a big difference, there's no doubt. Now, this Doramax is a pretty respectable truck right out of the box. Hit the rear wheel, it's got about 300 uh, horsepower and probably somewhere around five and a half foot-pounds of torque, 550 foot-pounds of torque. Which is never enough. We never want enough. more, more power. Right. So we're going to add 121 horse, 258 and pounds of torque. That, and that's more, like you say, that's more than most cars put out. Exactly. And it does a whole kit in this big hoss bundle, and you know, and it works efficiently. First thing we want to do is bring in some cold air, so we've got the Ram Air intake system. Sure, we're going to kind of show these to you just as they move through the engine. Cold air, anytime you can condense the air, make it colder, you're going to make it more efficient, more power, which just about any aftermarket part you're going to put onto a vehicle will do that. Of course, when, once you run it through the compressor section of the turbocharger, guess what? The air starts to get warm, so now you need to cool it again. Right. right. Now, this is a really cool intercooler. It has a cast aluminum end which is very expensive to tool versus the normal kind of sheet metal foreign piece that most would have. They've also opened up the tubes as well and made very big tubes so it'll flow really well. That'll cool the air coming in real nice. Right. You take the Ram Air and the Technicooler, that's a very efficient intercooler. When you're doing that, you're really going to give a continuous supply of cold, dense air. And of course, once you've burned it, you want to get it out. Mm -hmm. We move to the exhaust system and what we've got here is the Monster Exhaust, which has got some really neat features too. <laughs> You like that, don't you? You know, there's, every time there's monster, you know, just the weird voices start to come out. But yeah, it's a three inch stainless. So we're going to get into that once we put it on. You got to have a tuner. What we got here is the bank sick gun with the uh, power PDA. You know, we can really tune this engine for performance. But the main thing is it's clean all the time. All right, first thing we need to do is tear the front of this truck down so we can put our intercooler in. You ready? Am I ready? Are we I'm ready? Gonna, I'm going to supervise. <laughs> Let's get some tools. All right, buddy, the last bolt's coming out here, man. All right, you got those little clips out of the bottom. Great, this box, box was a great idea, okay? Speaking of grills, man, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Fire up the grill and make yourself something to eat. Now, we're taking this thing apart. One of the great ideas that Brian came up with is this little box with all these compartments in it. Every one of these screws is a different length and different size. You want to make sure you, sure you keep up with it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take these screws out in the front. Besides taking the grill out, you've got to take a lot of parts, including the headlight, Take the instructions and read them step by step. It tells you how to do it. Now, it's not just these two bolts here in the headlight. There's a bolt behind the inner fender skirt, which I've already got out. How you read the there? instructions. That's a good tip. What a concept, Amazing huh? how many people won't do that. <laughs> I'm just pulling out the mass air sensor. I'm also going to pull the factory intake out and get it ready to put the new one in. So, hopefully that's just going to pop right out of there. That's a lot of mass that you're taking. Now, you got it unplugged? Yep. Okay. All right. Just follow the directions again, step by step. We're going to take off. We're going to take off this radiator core support, and of course, then we've got to deal with the latches and stuff in front here. We've got the air conditioner condenser, and then we have the turbo intercooler, and then we have the radiator. So just take your time. Now, the factory intercooler is going to be just what it needs to meet the letter of the law. You know, it's not a bad unit, it's got a cast end on one end, but if you look at that inlet, okay, the air is taking a right turn, real hard turn. You look at the bank's technicooler and they put a nice sweep, nice flow, that way the air is going to move fast, not going to slow it down. It's taller, it's thicker, has more tubes, and you can see it's got cast aluminum tanks on both ends, and it's welded on both ends. The factory unit's got a tank on one end, this end it's plastic, and it's all crimped here. It's put together in two pieces, and that can be deadly. Absolutely, and you can see on this one, it's a good example of why the crimped one isn't as good as the welded, because when they put it together, there's an O-ring all the way around, and that O-ring can blow. Like a friend of ours, this was actually his Bonneville truck. He gets going through the run, and that thing is gone, man. You just totally lose your boost. Yeah, he put a bigger turbocharger on it. It had more volume, more pressure, popped the O-ring, and just like losing the turbocharger hole, Hose the, the nose right. dive down. That's right. Because yeah, pressure's race. coming out of the turbo, going through the intercooler to cool it, and then coming out, going into the engine. So that's where there's just as much pressure in here as anything else. And OEM designs it for their pressure. Right. You upgrade everything from head to toe. You have to do. That's why this kit is nice, because it goes all the way from the intake, all the way out through the exhaust pipe, 
and then you're really going to get your best gain. That's right. All engineered to work together and give you good longevity. Okay, uh, before here's a tip. Before you put this in, clean all the leaves and bugs out of the uh, radiator and the air conditioner condenser. You want as much airflow as you can get. Could be a necklace. Could be a brooch. Could be a flying pterodactyl. You having fun? Careful with those scissors, will you? All right, we're continuing on with our Banks installation. We've got our intercooler in. So it's got the core support back on. And again, it fits between the radiator and the AC condenser. One thing, I don't know if you mentioned it or not, but I didn't. When you're doing this kind of stuff, the first thing you want to do is disconnect the batteries in this diesel. There's two of them. Always. Yeah, that way you don't arc against something. There's a lot of juice to crank one of these things up. Now, under the some modification may be necessary, where there's these little templates that you have to cut out in the instruction manual. It's pretty simple. You just kind of align it with the little tabs, and what we'll do is trim that out in a few, and we'll show you that. Um, also, up on the top, uh, make sure I get this right. Oh, there we go. Wrong right side. Now you're right, right top. Trim that side out as well. Just helps it, you know, a different mounting for a new piece versus the old factory, but it's a piece of cake. And the whole idea here is with the intercooler and the Ram Air setup, we're going to start off with cool air coming in. You know, underhood temperatures can get up pretty hot. Sure. 200 plus degrees. Think about a hot day, especially in traffic with the AC condenser. All kinds of hot air under the hood. If you just pull in the hot air, you're starting off before it gets compressed by the turbocharger too warm. Sure. Now, this is always the first thing we do. You know, if you buy a new car, you want to make it go a little faster, do a nice intake setup, cold air setup. Right. And what's the difference? Well, if you're making, you know, 10 million vehicles like GM does, you know, a few dollars here they're saved, saves them a lot of money. Sure. Well, it doesn't help the performance. This is a high quality filter made for performance. You know, exactly what you want. And you can see also, just like on the intercooler, this has nice swooping bends, nice right. easy flow for the air, whereas the factory may have been cheaper to do a or you know, something like that, easier way to put it together in the factory. And they've got all those crazy mufflers sometimes on them. They're, they're a big piece make, you know, to keep it quiet. Mm -hmm. the, inter the interesting thing is we're gonna pull outside air through the air filter so it's nice and clean, down into the turbocharger. When we spin the turbocharger up, it's in the compressor section, compresses the air. When you do that, you drive the temperature up. So the warm air comes out of that tube, comes down into the intercooler. So now that we have that nice smooth bend, goes through the intercooler. And by the way, there's fins inside the intercooler mm -hmm. tubes to make sure that it, that it gets rid of the, uh, the hot temperature. We come out of the intercooler nice and cool right into the intake. You got a good constant supply of cool, dense air. Exactly. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this thing cut out. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead Finish putting all the rest of these nuts and bolts in, plug all our wires up, and make sure we get everything right. All right, we'll get this thing trimmed out real quick. Now, using a plasma, just a few little things to think about. You want to make sure that you grind an area so you can get a good ground, because the arc is buzzing through there, and then you're blowing out the metal out the backside. That's what makes all the sparks. So, get yourself a good ground. Test it on something so you can tell that your, your heat setting is right. And then we're just going to take this thing and kind of clamp it on here. And it'll give me a kind of a guide. That way, whenever you're doing your line, you look like you know what you're doing and you're not make this big long thing that you're knocking out. Get some cool glasses, keep the eyes ready, and then it should be pretty easy. Let me give you a little tip. Before you take anything apart, take a little scribe and scribe a mark here and here. You know, this is the hood adjustment after all. You know, after all, you want to make sure you get it right back where it goes. You do that all over and you'll be in good shape. Yeah, it's a great tip, Sam, because man, you can just up and down and then and then. Forget where it was. Yeah. Now the our new intercooler has a nice smooth transition. So that's why we trim that little thing. We clean it up a little bit, a little bit of paint, keep rust from coming in there. And also that other piece that he cut. You can see right here, this is the new air box that comes with the uh, Banks Ram Air. It's going to go up against the fender. The air is going to come in from underneath, right through here. Okay, air filter sits right on top of it. That gives it clearance for the box where we cut it out. This seals it, completely isolates it from under hood temperatures, makes a nice cold air box. All right, Sam, getting the Ram Air buttoned up. Looks good, man. Looks good. All right, got the filter minder measures pressure differential. 
So the spring compresses, tells you when it's ready to clean, comes through, mass air sensor is put in there and ready to go. We had to change out a little gasket in there, but that was easy. We're in great shape here. Everything's ready for, we'll put the radiator or our shroud back on, then we're ready for our grill. But what we're gonna do is put this thing up in the air and start on our monster exhaust. And right now, of course, we need to take a break. And if you want more information about any of this, check out our website. Ready to go there, pal? Yep. Now watch your head up there. Oh, don't yeah. dent the oh, this beauty. <laughs> Welcome back. All right, we're working on our monster exhaust. First thing we do is take this out. This is the uh, factory exhaust system. Look at that, that's pretty. That's a dinosaur exhaust, yeah. that is. And you can see here, you got these little uh, area to help try to cool the exhaust tip. It gets real hot back here. But if you see, they choke this down, gives you back pressure. It's choked really bad through there. Yeah, right down in there. And of course, you get that big old muffler. It weighs about 50 pounds. Yeah, this one's out of here. Now, the monster exhaust we're putting on from Banks First off, it's all stainless steel. You're gonna fall on my foot there. Now, the good news is, four inch mandrel bent, real high quality, all welded. This is what they call the cool cuff. The air coming down here, comes into the exhaust, helps to reduce the tailpipe temperature coming out the back. Exactly. And of course, it doesn't choke it down. So you got, we got basically about 60% better flow, 30% less back pressure. Yep, stainless steel, it's not gonna rust. This is just like factory. But the original factory and most uh, aftermarket systems are just one pipe that come out. This is two with the cool brush tip and the rolled edge on the end. Yeah, real really high quality nice. polished tips. Yeah. Now, here's what we're doing. We're adding power to this vehicle. Remember, we're going to put 121 rear wheel horsepower, right, 258 right. foot-pounds of torque. Yeah, but we're doing this with clean tune technology, which is bank specialty. We can't put any more soot than the factory into the DPF or the diesel particulate filter because they're designed to go a long time. If you load them up, you shorten their life. And of course, this thing is neat because it's 50 state legal and we keep the temperature way down at the tailpipe tip. With all the power we'll make, mm -hmm. we'll be at stock or better. How's yep. that? And you can see here, it's just really easy to bolt on right behind the particulate filter. It's got a 3 8 stainless flange and uh, should be a piece of cake. Yep, gonna keep your exhaust nice and cool. Gonna look good with those uh, big tips on the back. Got our gasket and our hardware. It's gonna sound go cool and bolt too. This in. We talked a lot today about the diesel particulate filter, the DPF, and I wanted to show you this unit and show you how the EPA in, in all vehicles, big trucks, passenger vehicles, anything that has a diesel, we're cleaning it up. And this is the unit right here. Now on one side there's a fitting that goes to the back, that's where the switch is, and also there's another fitting here that's going to the same one. And what happens, it tells the switch when this pressure is too high because it's clogged with particulate. Now when it's clogged with particulate, the engine goes through what's called a regen mode, which it floods fuel into this thing, floods diesel into it, and revs it up, and what's gonna happen is gonna burn it and solidify it and make it more compact into ash, thereby keeping it from blowing out the backside and making a more clean uh, diesel unit than it would have been. Now up in here, there's a temperature sensor that also tells the computer some other things that are going on. And it's really, you know, it's kind of a pain that we have to do it. And it makes vehicles more expensive. It makes a lot more stuff that factories have to put in. But there's a lot of good technology that's being developed these days for vehicles that help clean them up. And that's interesting. And it's a hot topic. But right now, we got to take a break. After that, we're going to the break room. So stay tuned. How's it sound back there, Sam? Man, it sounds great. You know, really amazing. Without a muffler, it's this quiet, but it does have a great sound. Very clean, too. Yeah, it really not is. Not a bit of smoke. Yeah, not at all. Hey, welcome back. Well, we're putting the finishing touches on our Banks Big Hoss Bundle. Got the program we're under the hood, the exhaust is done. And by the way, even with those big dual exhausts, the factory spare goes right up in place. Absolutely. Now, we put in the power PDA, and do, I mean, I'm very impressed with this unit. It's a normal PDA, so it's got all the PDA functions. And literally, I mean, there's so many things you can do on this. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I mean, it? you could literally spend an entire show just explaining all the functions, all the, I mean, you can do quarter mile tests, eighth mile tests, you can read temperature. I mean, there's so much. I mean, you start running through this thing yep. and 
it's just endless what this thing will do. Miles per hour, throttle, I mean, right. way acts, more than I could do. It acts as an OBD2 scan tool. You know, the Power PDA is our tuner, and that allows us to go ahead and put in the different stages of tune. And of course, it's clean tune technology, so you got no smoke. Yep. You're making the engine much more efficient, so you're maximizing your fuel economy, which is real important today. And it's, uh, it's actually very simple, too. If you want it to be simple, you can do six stages of power yep. from one to six and just set it up for you know what you're doing, towing, power, just cruising. Right. And your EGT and boost are always displayed, but you can also put up things like transmission slip, and it's got all the safety items built into it. You know, if you've got, uh, you can set it up for his overboost. Yep. It'll cut it out. Yep. If it starts to overfuel the engine and the transmission slips, yep. bingo, it'll fix that. Yep. It's really a pretty impressive piece. Yep. And, and it's you banks. You it pretty good too, didn't you? Yep. And it's banks, so you know that it's, you know, it's been tested, it's been engineered correctly, and, and you can feel good about it. So. Absolutely. The whole system is designed and engineered to work together. And, you know, I mounted the, uh, the actual tuner itself with two sided tape, goes right on top of the electrical center, yep. up under the hood, run a few wires through. Just do a neat job, make sure you use the grommets and all that stuff, and follow the instructions. Let's ride. All right, let's go take let's a ride. Let's this thing out. Hope you learned something today. We'll see you next time here at Two Guys Garage. See you next time.